Hi, I'm making this video for the participants at Mayhex Women's Recovery Conference that we had, was that 10 days ago, uh, here in Asheville. And so some of the participants asked me if I would make a little video just to kind of review some of the practices we did. So I'm gonna do that and put it on YouTube and I hope it's helpful for you. So some of the things we did included Shake It Out, and I often will start shake it out with one hand, and you can kind of look at that hand if you like, and then let the shaking get up into the arm and the shoulder. And then you can keep that one shaking, and then start the left hand shaking too. Then let's shake it out, get all the way up into your shoulder so that you're shaking out both, both arms, both hands. It's really nice to do this one as you're looking at your arms too, so you can sort of see what you're doing, and it kind of adds extra sensory input uh, via the visual cortex. And then you can then you can get your foot into it and uh, this is a balance practice of course everything's shaking um, so you get to practice uh, uh, it's beneficial for the vestibular system as well and then you can do the other foot and then if you'd like you can get the whole body to shake and maybe add some face shaking or horse lips is fun <sighs> okay so that shaking practice could add, add could last you know one minute or it could last five minutes if you like um, another thing we did was bouncing, and these are these are rebounding practices. They help um, to. They, there's a aspect to resetting the nervous system, and there's also an aspect of moving uh, interstitial fluid through the tissue. So this kind of rebounding practice, bouncing, can be really good. We talked about how this is uh, a lot of kids will use this to reset their nervous system. They might even make sounds like uh, you know. So uh, you can bounce, you can bounce around in a circle if you want, you can uh, bounce on one foot and bounce on the other foot. So bouncing is another one that, again, you can do that for a minute or you could do it for five minutes and get really creative with it. Um, let's see, a couple other things we did. We did the uh, standing twist. This is kind of a Tai Chi movement. If you see what's happening to my back foot, it's kind of spinning up. Uh, uh, so you, you wanna let the back foot spin up. And I'm, right now I'm keeping my face neutral you can do a neutral face here wait now 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 i confuse myself there we go <laughs> you can do a neutral face here um and you can also do face goes with the um arms and this kind of gives you some of that sweeping around the room with the visual cortex which is good in terms of the orienting response so this creates safety a safe feeling in the brain stem and the body um and then this right so the head, head could go opposite side that's just that can be really nice in terms of that cr cross lateral uh, cross crossing the midline cross lateral movement, which is good for integrating the functions of the hemispheres of the brain, and also it can be good um, in terms of just get feeling a little more stretch in the neck and shoulder. So those are a couple of things that we did standing. Oh, we also did breath of joy. Remember, so breath of joy was one, two, three on your inhale and then the exhale is ha huh, right and so we did it in a way that's real safe for the back by keeping the back straight inhale 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 exhale inhale 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 exhale and then we also said if you wanted to do something more you know a little a little more bump and um that's a technical term and <laughs> and you were sure that people don't have lower back issues then it could be inhale 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 <sighs> right? It's usually through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And to finish breath of joy, you want to inhale, sweep your arms up, and then just exhale, let the arms slip down. So those are some brief practices you can do. Great to put in the middle of a group somewhere or use at the beginning of a group or the end of a group for a ritual. You can also do these, of course, with individuals. Now, in terms of some of the seated practices we did, if you look at your um, participant handout, we had a seated practice, seated mountain pose, so there's a whole script for that. We had a seated interoceptive practice of sensing the sensations in, in the nose as you breathe, and there's a script for that. A couple other practices we did, um, and I'm going to come down to seated, we did um, the seated twist where we had the hands out to the side and then breathe in and as you exhale, let one hand come down and put the other hand on your chest and then inhaling back and exhaling to the other side. So we did those. Now if you like, what you can do 
um, with the twist is also we did some kind of installing, like like similar to EMDR ideas, where we would place an idea or a thought into the hand and then place it in the body. Rick Hansen calls this embodied cognition. In the yoga tradition, it's called nyasa, where you put something, put a pos put the positive into the body, place something sacred or positive into the body. So that's another way to do the twist. You can also stay in the twist for um, a few breaths, right? And, the, and stay on the other side for a few breaths, that's fine. You can also do this one without breathing at all and just move really slowly. The last one that we did was the alternate hands and feet. And you could do that from seated, like sitting on the floor like I am. I'd probably have everybody sit up on a bolster or a folded blanket. You can also do that in a chair. And it's just right arm, left foot, left arm, right foot. Moving slowly, mindfully, lots of cues to pay attention to sensations. You can use breathing if you like, inhale and exhale. And this is again to get, to sort of improve that contralateral connection or use the contralateral movement to improve the corpus callosum uh, connection. You could do more if you wanted, right? The arm could go all the way up. The leg could come up if you want. So there's lots of ways to work with this kind of movement. And we teach, as, as I mentioned, um, we go into this in much more detail. We teach um, more examples of this kind of movement in um, our training programs. And then, you know, help you to start to embody it for yourself. And as you learn it better for yourself, you can definitely share that uh, more with your clients. So thanks for being here. Feel free to send me comments and questions and join the Subtle Yogi community on Facebook and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.